What's up, mi gente? Bienvenido a mi cocinita. Thanks so much for watching. So, hoy vamos a hacer un barbecue chicken in the oven. So, aquí tengo mi pollo and my chicken is already washed and dry. And yo lave mi pollo con limón, pero si no tiene limón, usen vinagre. But make sure you wash your chicken. So, vamos a comenzar with a lime. I'm going to squeeze the lime in there. Y los sazones que yo estoy usando, mi gente, like you don't have to use all of the seasonings I'm using if you want to add another seasoning and jo or just take away one of the seasonings I'm using, it's fine. You do whatever you want. <laughs> so, yo estoy comenzando con, um, I added sazón líquido, pero si tú no tienes sazón líquido, tú le pones tu sofrito, si tú tienes sofrito. Y le puse también un chin de aceite, le puse sal, le voy a poner, I just put um, onion powder, I'm putting garlic powder now. I'm also using some Worcestershire sauce, I don't know if I said it right, pero. <laughs> y aquí tengo salsa, uh, salsa china, eh, soy sauce, and then I also added cumin, and I also added lemon pepper. Lemon pepper, guys, I highly recommend it in this chicken because it gives the chicken a really good taste. Y leche smoked paprika. You know, we're making barbecue chicken, so let's use some smoked paprika. Y leche uh, un chin de pepper also. Just a little bit of pepper because, you know, lemon pepper has black pepper. Y le Puse también eh, mi orégano dominicano y le puse un chin de thyme. And that's it. Now, lo que yo voy a hacer, que yo, I'm going to mix this up. Y lo voy a cubrir, le voy a dejar que se sazone. So, look how good that chicken looks already. I mean, you know, it's a pretty color. <laughs> so, I'm just going to let this marinate for the day. And then I'm going to go to work, come back home, and then we're going to start cooking. And here I am. <laughs> so, aquí está mi pollo that it finished marinating for eight hours but look if you don't have to marinate it for eight hours you can marinate it less so i'm using an aluminum um for your pan because it's just easy clean up but also you have another pan um like for your oven you can go ahead and use it a mí me gusta esa, esa, esa pan because cuando yo la use i just gotta throw it in the garbage i don't have to do no clean up okay so you see, this is also easy clean up. So aquí está mi pollo y lo que yo voy a hacer, que yo lo voy a, um, I'm going to tap it a little bit with a paper towel to get some of the excess um, wetness that it had. Porque yo quiero que este pollo coja colorcito. So tú coges tu toallita and just pat it a little bit para que se le quite, para quitarle un poquito de lo, de lo um, wet. So I put my chicken in the oven and I baked it at 400 for 20 minutes. So a 400 por 20 minutos, mira que lindo se ve el pollo, tiene un colorcito and that's what I wanted. So now I'm just going to start um, adding the barbecue sauce to all my pieces. Y tú ves que tiene mucha agua, lo que yo voy a hacer que yo lo voy a sacar un chin de esa agua. Because um, I'm going to take some of that water out, some of that broth that you see there, because I want my chicken to really, really get nice color. So, como tú ves, yo le saco un poquito. And then, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Okay, so, <laughs> after 20 minutes, here's my chicken. So, I mean, yes, after after 40 minutes, sorry, after 40 minutes, here's my chicken, and I'm basting it again, y lo voy a poner en el horno para que coja más colorcito como por unos 10 minutos. So, I cook my chicken, guys, look at how good it looks. I cook my chicken in the oven at 400 for like 45 minutes, and I took it out to baste it with my chicken every 20 minutes, y aquí está mi pollito, mi gente, yo hice un moro de guandule with potato salad, here's my barbecue chicken, guys. Thank you so much for watching, buen provecho.